So a little while ago I bought the 7mm-08 with intent to make a video on it at some point and just never got around to it. I haven't got a chance to use it yet. So today is the day we're going to take it out on Bush Rangers and have a little bit of fun with it. Originally when this gun first came out, I remember when it first came out and I always thought that it would be a great gun for just like gunning down big groups of goats. So we're definitely going to try that today. And it's nice because I can take the foxes and pretty well everything on this map except the rabbits with it. So there's, there's a lot of fun to be had, I'm looking forward to it. Go out and find some kangaroos. I enjoy hunting kangaroos, so they're going to be... Well, I don't know, there's going to be a good mixture of stuff. Should be a good time. Alright, so right off the bat I've been able to find a pretty good sized group of goats. Now, I haven't actually fired this thing at all yet, so I don't know. I've heard that the bipod is a blessing and a curse. It's one of the things that just about everybody brings up if you ask them about this rifle. So we'll see how that works. Looks like it will be usable in this spot. Oh yeah, pretty good. So let's go ahead and shoot some of these goats. Okay, that was that one was my error. Yeah, no, this thing's pretty sweet actually. Just as smooth as hell. I like this a lot. It's like point and click. I'm using the HV bullets though, and I think that might have been a bad decision. They don't seem to be doing a very good job at actually killing them. But they are hitting. That's all 10 bullets, just like that. I do believe the HP bullets are also good for goats, so I probably should have been using those. Actually, they might not be. I should check before I try that. This is going to be my main struggle with this rifle, is remembering what ammo is good for what. We'll go ahead and see what died from that. My guess is probably not nearly as many as I hit, because these bullets don't seem to be as good as I was hoping, but I can see two dead already. And that's that's not bad. I don't actually know how many I hit. There was a couple that I shot twice. No idea. I was kind of just having fun to tell you the truth, but we'll run down here and grab these two and see if I can't find a couple more that I whinged and then ran off. And then I think I'm gonna have a quick review of what this thing can take with what ammo again, because I looked at it like right before I started this hunt and I already kind of forget. I got like a general idea. That's about all I got. I know that the HV can take like up to reindeer and then pretty well anything bigger than that is HP, but then HP can also take other stuff that's lower than reindeer. I don't know, it's confusing. I don't wanna have to learn all this stuff. I just wanna shoot things, which is not not a bad not a bad mentality, I don't think anyway, but Whatever. I'll go find more goats that I probably killed. That's an intestine shot right there, so that one's gonna die. And I'll see if I can find some other blood tracks, see if there's any promising hits, and we've got at least one more to find at least, so we've got something. Here we have our third dead goat. At least, no, this is a different one actually. This isn't even the intestine shot one. So there's at least one more dead one. That wasn't even the one I was tracking. I thought it was, but I guess not. I can't see blood loss on goats either, so I don't know how close this thing is to dying, but I wouldn't imagine it's too much further. It shouldn't be over this ridge. I will. No, it will be over this ridge, but it shouldn't be too far over this ridge is what I meant to say. And then, then I think I'm gonna kind of work my way back and see if maybe I can find a kangaroo. Maybe some foxes. Foxes are fun too. I haven't hunted foxes in a time. I don't know. There's a lot of options on this map. I'll try to hit everything. That's going to be my goal. Try to kill like one of everything on this map with maybe an exception of the rabbits. I do have a 22 pistol on me, but I kind of just want to keep it to the 7mm08 because I want to play around with it a little bit. Cool gun. I'm kind of enjoying it so far, but I can definitely see that bipod maybe being an issue. But for situations like that with those goats, that was pretty sweet. I'm surprised that this goat that we're tracking isn't dead yet. To tell you the truth, I was hoping it would be dead like not this far away. I'm gonna have a peek over this ridge and if he's not there, I might just forget about it because I don't care. Okay, there it is. Perfect, and then we'll go see what else we can find. 
Eyeball Black, 14 GMs. Well, we're right in the middle of Fox territory, so I might as well go see if I can find some of those and then kind of work my way back to Kangaroo Hog area. Sounds like a plan to me, and then maybe pick some more goats up on the way, see if I can find a decent one. I hear a fox. That's not the weapon that I want to take out, but now I'm sitting upright, so we might as well commit to it. That is a tiny male fox. When I heard the mail call, I was kind of hoping that it was going to be, like, potentially half-decent. That thing's, like, just a baby. That's tiny. Well, I guess he's not. He's on the higher end of that estimate. I think he was, what, 0 to 16? So at least he wasn't, like, too, too bad, but... Still a tiny fox. 42 GMs, though, for a fox that small. Suppose I can't complain, but... We'll see if maybe we can find another fox or two, but I am going to start working my way towards the east side of the map here. See if there's any kangaroos around. And maybe some pigs. So we've spotted the male kangaroo, and I did a little more research on the ammo, and I can actually take these guys with both ammunitions. So I'm going to try the HP ammo for the first time. I'm going to get up on this rock. I'm not sure how the bipod's going to like that. I have a feeling it's not going to like that. I don't like how when I aim down the scope, it automatically makes me look at the ground, even if I can look at what I'm trying to look at, but that shot should be good enough to take that, yeah, right to the ground. And I can take these guys as well. That wasn't enough lead on that shot, but that was. And there's another one. I don't know what the bullet drop on this gun is either. Pretty sure that one didn't hit, but it was worth a shot. And I don't see anything else running, so we'll call that good. Really, the goat was just a bonus anyway, but I'm happy with that. We'll just run over there and grab them. I don't think the kangaroo, well, the kangaroo had a max of 80, so he was nothing special. And obviously the goat was pretty pathetic, but I'm having, I'm having fun with the 7mm. I already kind of forgot. That kangaroo was straight over here, I think. I never mark the things that I shoot, and it gets me into trouble sometimes. I'll spend like half an hour scaling a ridge of like where I shot something from like 300 meters when I could have just marked it and found it right away. It's not even that I'm like forgetful. I just, I'm just stubborn. I just believe that I'm able to find it on my own. And then usually I'm just not really able to find it on my own. Anyway. That goat's actually bigger than I remembered it being, so that's decent bonus. Small male, 14 GMs. And this kangaroo is probably like 75 would be my guess. With the estimates that I was given. And 72, that was close. 194 meters. Didn't have any issue that bullet going like straight through. I would, the bullet would have went in like right here and then straight out there, so. Er. So weird, how did it hit hip bone too? It's a weird angle, it would have had to go. I guess it probably came in like right here and went more like that. Regardless, it went straight through. So definitely, definitely has some power. I like that a lot. Now I kind of want to see how much power it has against a feral hog. Something that's a little bit, uh, a little bit thicker. Let's see how this rifle handles something a little bit chunkier than a kangaroo. Well, it didn't drop it. Oh, that might be because I have the wrong ammo. Usually, HV ammo isn't the best for pigs. I kind of figured that this would probably become an issue with this gun. Me shooting things with the wrong ammo. See if I can follow it up. Oops, that was a terrible shot. Yeah, now this thing at this low level, probably not going to hit anything crouched. I'm surprised Doc hasn't yelled at me yet. Usually that notification thing doesn't take this long to show up, but... Anyway, we're going to have to find another pig to test that on because... That test subject is no longer viable. 
I'm pretty sure the HV isn't ethical for pigs, but maybe I'm wrong. Doc never yelled at me, so... HV must be... must be ethical for pigs, which would make pigs the biggest thing that that ammo can take. I didn't know that. I could still be wrong. But I don't think that that little pop-up is that delayed. I'll go track it down and... I'm pretty sure that HV must be ethical for them. I didn't know that. I didn't think that that was a thing. Good to know. So our pig did die. I don't know, I never got the pop-up that he was disqualified, so... He should be alright. Let's just have a look. Yeah, no, not disqualified. HV ammo is ethical. 838, 43 GMs. Now, I just got a kangaroo call from right beside this lake. So I kind of want to go investigate that. And then I do still want to try shooting a hog with the HP ammo. And just see, it should drop them. I'm quite confident with the uh, feral hogs being on the lower end of the HP ethicality list. It's probably going to go straight through them, do a bunch of damage. But I still want to see it in action, you know what I mean? I just saw one in the trees there, but I kind of want to have a look at this kangaroo before I start hailing shots at other things. Marked where it came from. It should be just yet right there. Have a look. I might even be able to get both of them if I play this right. Yeah, no, that's a good kangaroo. I definitely want to shoot that. Let's just see if I can get eyes back on that hog. Yeah, right there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, but I'll try. I'm crouch shooting this, but I'm probably going to miss. Okay, no, I didn't miss that shot, but I'm going to miss this shot. Yeah, no. I can't even get my breath back. I don't think that hit, but I could be wrong. Oh, it did hit. It's dead. I don't know where that hit, but it was obviously not a bad shot. It didn't go very far. Um, now I gotta find it again so I can mark it. I don't even see it. It definitely top toppled over dead though. I just don't see where it went. I have no idea where that thing died. Apparently. I don't see the little glowing death dome when you press Z, and I don't see its actual dead corpse anywhere. I'm pretty sure it was like... over here somewhere? No idea. I'm gonna spend like an hour looking for that thing probably, but... I do want to know where I hit it. We'll just go over, grab this kangaroo, and then... I'll see if I can find that pig. But yeah, no, that uh, that HP ammo definitely gives it to the roos. They uh, they don't like that much. They go down pretty easy. I would imagine the HP ammo would do pretty well the same thing to roos. They're they're pretty easy to kill. Pretty well anything will go right through a roo and kill it pretty quick. Arm shots kill these stupid things. 77, so biggest kangaroo we've shot. Well, we only shot the one, but it's bigger than the last one, so that's that's something at least. 61 GMs, and now I've got a hog to find. Just looking at where that mark is, I'm pretty sure it was further than that where it died, but I'll see what I can do. Okay, I lied. That mark was pretty well perfect. And it took me like a whole three minutes to find it. It just kind of like toppled down a hill, which is probably why I couldn't see it. I feel like I hit this thing like in the leg or something. Oh no, I got a lung shot. Wow. That was like a Hail Mary of a shot too. Interesting. So seeing the lung, they go about like 40 meters. So maybe it doesn't quite have as good penetration as I thought or... Like I said, I don't even know where that bullet hit, to tell you the truth. I didn't even think I did hit it, so... Some more extensive research would be... Would be necessary, but... I'm pretty happy with this gun. I think I'll probably be using this thing quite a bit, especially like this map, Val de Bois, Hemeldahl. 
but there's stuff like bobcats, lynx, foxes. It could definitely come in handy. Whiteheart Island too, for sure. I, I see bobcats all the time and all I have is a bow. If I really want to shoot it, I have to lob arrows at it at like 200 meters for like 20 minutes and waste like 30 arrows. That's usually not the most fun thing to do, but I can definitely see this rifle coming in handy. So that's it for today's video. Nothing too exciting. I kind of just wanted to go play around with this rifle a little bit because I hadn't used it. And I just recently kind of fixed my OBS settings, so I was kind of just playing around with that, making sure all that was working good. So nothing, nothing too special, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway. And I'll see you guys in the next one.